All right, Will. All right, thank you, uh, Mike. Hey, LeBron, if you don't mind my starting off the court, uh, before the game, Greg Popovich was talking about the events of yesterday. I called him blatant and dangerous, uh, said that the country's sin had plagued us for all these years, talked about inequality of the races, et cetera. And then he went on to specifically praise you, um, your activism, what you've spoken for, the ability to speak out, trying to lead others, et cetera. Uh, so just wondered if you could react to that and, and everything you've been thinking about these last couple of days. Uh, well, when Coach Pop speaks, he's very articulate, very um, straight to the point, uh, very educated, very smart man. And he comes from a sense of, um, of being a human being and knowing, a, knowing what's going on in our country, um, you know, knowing the difference between right and wrong and, and the things and the challenges that, um, you know, we, we have to go through. And um, um, so, I mean, I love, you know, Coach Pop, not only as, you know, as a coach, but more, um, you know, as a man. Obviously, the last few days has been uh, um, very, very, very tough on uh, anybody in the black community. Starting off, when we, you know, we got the news when we was in Memphis with the you know, Jacob Blake announcement and uh, with, the, with the cop being let off, uh, you know, not being accused of, of that uh, brutal murder. And then with yesterday, um, seeing um, what happened, um, you know, at our national capital inside the capital. Um, it's uh, we, we live in two Americas and that was prime example of that yesterday. And um, and if you don't understand that or don't see that after seeing what you saw yesterday, then you um, you really um, need to take a step back, not even just one step, maybe four or five or even 10 steps backwards um, and ask yourself what what how, how do you want your, your kids or how do you want um, you know, your grandkids, how do we want America to be viewed as, how do we want to live, you know, in this, in this beautiful country? Um, because yesterday, um, was not it, um, was not it. And, um, being a part of a household, um, with three kids, uh, two boys, uh, a daughter, uh, a wife, a, a mother-in-law, um, and so many, uh, you know, black folks, in my household during that time, and it's on the on the TV, couldn't help but to wonder um, if those were uh, my kind uh, storming the Capitol, what would have been the outcome? And I think we all know. Um, it's not even, it's no ifs, ands, or buts. We already know what would have happened to my kind if anyone would have even got close um, to the Capitol, let alone storm in, inside the offices, inside the hallways. Um, just a very, very um, low time, um, low time in, um, in our country to see what we saw yesterday, uh, the events, the chain of events. Um, but it just goes to show, like I said, it's two different Americas that we live in. And, um, you know, it's, it's my job to continue to, um, to spread, uh, you know, positive, positive uh, uh, notions and Continue to uh, educate my, my, my people, continue to um, uh, big up my people, continue to um, inspire them. Uh, even when times like yesterday feel like um, it was another gut punch to us um, of what we saw, so. And as a quick follow-up to that, how do you talk to your kids about this, LeBron? And, and how has that evolved? And I know they're different ages, but how has that evolved over time? You just saw them the photos. All you gotta do is look at the photos from the, the peaceful protests of, of what we, you know, were fighting for. We were, you know, when we were out there, we were out there fighting for lives, you know, and we, we saw yesterday there, they're talking about votes. All you gotta do is look at the photos. I mean, I saw the picture yesterday that we all probably seen before of a, of a black man holding his daughter on top of his shoulders. And you got a, a, a police officer with a shield on with a, with a gun pointed right at him or right at her. Could have been rubber bullets on the inside, could have been real bullets. We all seen that photo. Um, and then on the contrary, you got uh, this white guy walking inside the Capitol with his thumb up in the air with the damn podium in his hand. I mean, 
what what more can what more do I need to say to my kids than to just see the two differences? Um, it's right there, you know, it's right there in their face. And uh, I will continue, and my wife will continue, and my mother and my mother in law, my father in law, who lived through a lot of this shit that's going on, they will continue to uh, hit home with them. But for them to see it, um, you know, it even it, it's, it's even more powerful. Dave. LeBron pregame pop reflected on 2016 and saying read, he read a New York Times editorial predicting kind of this was going to go down this way with this administration. And I remember being in the locker room with you the night the 2016 election happened. And you know, your your sentiment was was similar to that. Like, okay, we're in we're in for something here. In your view, in terms of being a, a leader in black America. What is the damage of the last four years and what's the step forward to make things better? Uh, well, we took a step forward in November um, by electing um, Joe and, and Kamala to be in the White House for them to be the head of our country. Um, that is a step forward. Um, the events that took place yesterday was a direct correlation of the president that's in the seat right now of his actions and his beliefs and his wishes. Um, he cares about nobody besides himself. Nobody, absolutely nobody. He doesn't care about this country. He doesn't care about his family. He doesn't care about anybody besides himself. And, and, and we, I mean, we've seen the tweets that happened along this whole path to the destruction of what happened yesterday. Those, those events was because of him and um, and we sat there and everyone and, you know, it's just over the last four years that we all knew. I mean, you know, like you said, Pop said it. I remember, like you said, four years ago, where I sat there and said this is the beginning of the end um, for our country. And, and, and hopefully it only lasts four years. Um, but the one thing you can't get back in life and one thing you can never get back and that's time. You can't get back time. And we've literally just shit away four years. And how do we recoup that? How do we recoup that? And for me, I'm not only an inspiration or, or a leader of, of Black America, I want to be an inspiration and leader of all races because I only preach positive stuff, but I, I also preach what's right. There's a difference between right and wrong. Like literally, if you don't know what's right and what's wrong, like if you walk outside and a kid pushes another kid on the ground and you don't think that's wrong, I don't, what is, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. Like people are, they grow up with hate doesn't it starts in their households it starts in their households and when they get outside of their households they get older and older and older and they continue the same things that they've seen over the course of time and you have these issues that we see in america like hate it comes from the house everything that goes on comes from the household of people just hating and hating and hating and um obviously what came from the president that's in the house now from his household is the reason why America is in the shithole. All right, we're going to take one more. Um, Dan? LeBron, the shirt says, do you understand now? Your shoes said, do you understand now? What would you say to people who don't understand at this point? And how, how do you even reach, how do you reach people who don't? No, it's, it's unfair to, to, to try to get people to understand um, but we want people to listen. Uh, there's some things that you can't understand because you don't grow up how we grew up. You don't, you, don't, you don't live in the same environment that we live in. You don't see the fact that when we walk out of our homes or we walk out of our project buildings or we walk out of our apartments, that we're scared to death right off bat because we're afraid of the police. And, and, and that's just how I grew up. When you seen the police, you ran the other way. You didn't feel like it was protection. You never felt like it was protection. Um, so we can't make you understand, we, we don't, do you understand, we, we want you in a sense of, do you understand what we're saying? Because you will never understand the feeling that we feel being a black man or being a black woman growing up in America because of the, I mean, we got uh, over 150 years, uh, 400 years. I mean, these, so, these, these things that's going on, there's no difference. There's no difference. They just hide them. You know, the, 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 the KKK, the rags over their faces, 
they're now they're just hiding behind certain certain other uh, costumes. They're they're just going under certain other costumes that you saw yesterday in the Capitol. I mean, you can't sit here and say that those are not those are that was those are terrorists. We keep saying it was protesters. Those are not protesters. I was like, what were they protesting? Knocking down walls, knocking down the gates of our nation's capital. Uh, you, you, people don't understand. Do you understand that? That, that's what we're talking about. Like, do you understand how hard it is for us to continue to live our lives the way we live, continue to inspire, continue to give everything that we got? Like, everyone jumps on the bandwagon of what we provide, what we bring, you know, the way we dress, our music, our culture, our food, everything, everything that everyone steals from what we do. And then they want to act like they did it. Or, 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 or they brought it to this world. Um, we don't get our due diligence. We don't get the respect. We don't get, um, we don't get anything back for what we've given to this country besides a slap in the face. And they're gonna say, okay, well, you know, you should shut up and dribble, which I've heard numerous of times, but I'm never gonna do that. Um, I'm never gonna do that. And they're gonna say you got so many other opportunities, so many guys are in leagues and all that stuff. But man, that's just that's peanuts. That's peanuts to what goes on in this country. And um, yesterday was just very shameful, and uh, and I just say embarrassing to to us as the example. I grew up knowing that America was the land of the free and the home of the brave, and we set an example for all these other countries in the world of how to run things and how to be great and how to you know maneuver and, and, and change change the world and things of that nature and yesterday we look like a, a third fourth fifth world country it was just it's just very embarrassing and um, um i just hope i hope we can be better but um it's 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 it's, it's a shitty time let me just say that appreciate it thank you Thank you for speaking all for